Hi guys, I'm from VPN Mentor. Welcome to our tutorial and review of VPN Secure. Today I will show you account registration and payment process, how to set up their VPN application, I'll test the responsiveness of their support and reliability of their servers. Hopefully by doing this I'll save your time and help you decide is it all worth it. So if you find the video helpful, please share it, like it or leave some comments in the section below. Here we are, VPN Secure website. As soon as you open the page, a chat window pops out so you can contact their support, which I will do a bit later. Let's take a look at some of the main features VPN Secure is offering. So, they keep no logs, they're bypassing internet censorship, you can choose your encryption strength, it's available for all platforms and operating systems, and they have a 7 day money back policy and offer a free trial. They also offer a free VPN service through which you can connect to their servers in the USA, however if you want to unlock more features than that you will have to go premium. Besides that they offer a corporate VPN program for companies with possibility of customizing it to fulfill your needs. Let's check out their pricing plans and proceed with registration. So their basic options are 1, 6 and 12 month plans. I'll go with 1 month plan, but of course if you plan on using it a longer period, 12 months is the best option. Now I would also like to mention that if you're looking for good deals and coupons on VPN services, you can check out our coupon page, it is updated regularly so you can always find the best deal. Ok, our next step is to create an account and choose a payment method. As you can see they have several different methods, including Bitcoin which is good for ensuring your privacy. I'll choose PayPal. After you've created your account, you will get a notification window advising you to note down your username and password, after which you can proceed with payment. After the payment has been verified, you will be able to open your VPN Secure account. And this is how it looks like. You've got Profile tab, which includes your account and membership information. You can subscribe to their mailing list if you like. Also in this section you can change your encryption strength, which can determine the speed of your VPN connection. If you click on Buy Now tab, it redirects you back to the page where you can choose another plan if you like. In Servers tab, you can find everything you need to install VPN without an application. And there's also a Smarter DNS. Smarter DNS is a service that allows you to have access to geo-blocked streaming media channels. It is also an unencrypted service. Furthermore, you get information on your payments and finally support tab where you can find links for tutorials and forum and you can submit a ticket with your question. Ok, it's time to head back to the VPN Secure website and download their VPN application. When the installation is complete, go ahead and log in. So here's the app. You can clearly see we are disconnected right now. It has a list of servers you can connect to and on the bottom it's showing the current IP address and location, as well as your membership type and how many days you got remaining on your plan. In the top left corner you can swap between tabs. Let's see what kind of settings we can adjust. Ok, we got checkboxes for leak fixing caused by Windows, save username and password and stealth VPN. A stealth VPN is a VPN server or protocol that is able to disguise VPN traffic as regular web traffic. You can choose a different language or a color theme. There is also advanced configuration where you can adjust more options regarding your connection and encryption and finally routing which you can also set up to route specific domains only. In support tab you can submit questions you have for support or visit their support center. Ok, that's it for the app. I'll try to connect now to a server and see if it's working. I'll try the Netherlands server. And it's fine, we are connected. You can see we have a different IP and location now. Ok, I'm gonna disconnect from the server now and run some tests on our original network. So here's the current IP address and location. Now I'll test the speed. And this is the result. Ping is 13 milliseconds, download speed is 52.37 megabits per second and upload is 3.93 megabits per second. Our last test includes Netflix. I'm gonna search for some content that is not available in my country, which is the show House, Dr. House. And as you see, it's not on the list. 
I'm going to contact their support now and ask them if it is possible to unlock Netflix catalog and which server is best in order to do so. Response from their support team was very quick, but unfortunately they informed us that Netflix is no longer accessible through their VPN service and it has been like that for nearly two years. Now I'll turn VPN on again and repeat the same test as before. I'm gonna try one of the United States servers now. So once again IP address and we're in New Jersey. Let's check the speed now. A quite slow connection with ping being 218 milliseconds, download speed 4.69 megabits per second and upload 1.61 megabits per second. When connecting with VPN you're always going to have a slower connection but some servers are better than others so I'll test several more to find a better one. Here is the comparison. I have found some faster servers, as you can see the download speed ranges from 4 to 35 megabits per second. Since Netflix is not accessible through VPN Secure that makes the last test impossible, so it's time to unsubscribe and request a refund. To do that I'll simply head back to my account and submit a new ticket to the support. After a little while they replied to me asking to provide more details and the reason why I am requesting refund. So if you're going to be doing this yourself, expect to be asked to provide more details with that request in order to get your money back. If you'd like some more information on VPN Secure, I suggest you go to our review page where you can find a lot of details. You can see their rating, there are some excellent expert reviews and a lot of user reviews. Also you can compare it to other VPN providers which can be very useful for finding the right VPN for you. As that would be the end of our tutorial, it's time for a quick summary. What's good about VPN Secure is that you can choose your encryption strength, application is easy to use, and they keep no logs. On the other hand, geo-restricted content is not accessible, at least uh, Netflix in this case, and they have quite a strict policy about refunds, so you don't get your money back even if you cancel subscription on time, unless you provide a good reason for that. Okay, that's it. Good job VPN Secure. Thanks for having listened to us, and if you appreciated our video, please share it, like it, or leave some comments in the section below.